Thanks, Kate. Hi, everyone. I'm Colin Penty. My pronouns are he, him, and I am Studio Technical Art Director at The Coalition. I'm here today to talk to you about Alpha Point, uh, our UE5 demo, Unlocking Artist Potential. These are some topics we'll be covering today, some very cool things. So goals for Alpha Point. Uh, we wanted to define high polygon modeling texturing workflows. We wanted to implement our new base material and texture pipeline. We wanted to modify the engine and gauge the ability to change the engine in UE5. So we did two changes uh, to this demo. We added Convolution Bloom uh, for Xbox and optimized it. And we added a visual effects G buffer with Niagara Readback. Uh, we also, for this demo, wanted to evaluate mega scans, of course, evaluate Nanite and Lumen, UE5 in gem general, and then, of course, measure this uh, on Xbox Series X and S for performance and memory and look for any additional issues. Disclaimers. So, all assets here are built specifically for the Alpha Point tech test. Uh, they do not represent any games currently in development at the Coalition. Demo was initially made to be just seen internally. We never intended for this to be presented at, at GDC um, or go on YouTube, uh, but this is great that we get to talk about this. 90% uh, of these assets were built by the coalition and 10% are mega scans. This demo is captured live off Xbox Series X, uh, which is fantastic. And this demo is also not representative of final frame, target, frame rate targets, not representative of final input or output resolutions. Uh, so without f further ado, here is the Alpha Point uh, visual tech test. Hope you enjoy it. Is doing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Lumen quality. So jumping into Lumen, uh, our Alpha Point demo uses all real-time lighting. It's uh, running real-time virtual shadow maps. It's running Lumen Indirect and Lumen Reflections. You can see here I'm moving the the light around, and you can see the uh, all the reflections updating in the light. Uh, overall, overall uh, Lumen really visual quality is with quite using strong, Niagara yeah, to yeah. kind of create things like add life to the world of insects and things. We, one of our changes I mentioned at the beginning of the talk was the custom visual effects buffer. So we added a new G buffer to the base pass. Uh, materials can write custom visual effects data to the G buffer and consume it in Niagara. And so this is what allows the particles to spawn off the emissive texture on the door. Uh, so that's just Niagara particles spawning off a, a, off a, a G buffer, a custom G buffer there. And so really prove that UE5 is, is very, very extensible, just similar to UE4. And uh, yeah, we've really produced some cool results there. Convolution Bloom uh, on console. So Convolution Bloom, this isn't a UE5 feature. Why am I talking about this? Well, this was uh, you know a non-gaming feature added to UE4 uh, in 4.16 by Epic, and uh, you know I really like the look of it, and so does our art directors. And so this is something I was like, hey, can we? Is this within reach now on on Xbox Series X? So initially it was not. It was seven milliseconds. Um, but we did um, some optimization pass, uh, did an optimization pass such as running it at quarter resolution. Uh, 
keep in mind this happens after the TSR, so uh, it's not impacted was, by um, the, the input resolution. Uh, the a cool project we did after Alpha Point. So we'll play a video now, just showing off our, our next gen character running on Xbox Series X. Okay, hope you like that video. And so here's some stats on this character. Uh, he is dense, so we have uh, four times more facial topology than Gears 5, three times the body topology. The groom assets, like the beard and the hair, is 250 times higher than Gears 5. Uh, some of these triangle counts are, are obscene with the, the groom assets. So <laughs> the hair is 3.25 million triangles, you know, beard is 240,000. There's a lot of triangles here, um, and this is all thanks to the new groom assets in, um, that we're using. One funny stat, I was thinking about the eyelashes being 3,500 triangles, and that is kind of the budget for an entire Xbox 360 character is now contained in the eyelashes of, of one of these characters. Um, so we've come a long way. And the fact that we have Peach Fuzz, I feel like this will be the generation of Peach Fuzz. Uh, you know, we, Peach Fuzz was always fairly hard to attain uh, with the Xbox One generation, so this, this is exciting <laughs> to have Peach Fuzz.